extremely hard to hold. That's what she said. Yes. Oh. Testing the durability of his tins. <laughs> oh. Look at this beautiful landscape, man. Ah, oh, yes. I love it. I'm out here playing some frisbee golf, and I'm also, uh, you know, kicking this old thing around. <laughs> I managed to dent one of the tins. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Managed to dent one of the tins. Ah. And uh, I'll actually be the first one we open up here. I'm curious to see how well everything is protected. Ah. Gotta do my best not to recycle, uh, litter. All right, so the story behind these is uh, that there was a bunch of these on a skid at Costco. Ooh, Evolving Skies. I wanna hold on to that, but I won't. I swear I won't. I'm not a hoarder anymore, except for when I am being a hoarder, which is all the time. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, there was a whole skit of these at Costco and I asked my lady friend to go ahead and pick me some up. She took a picture because she knows I'm into this stuff. And I was like, yes, uh, please grab me all of them. And when I say all of them, I just mean one because I ain't spending all that money, bruh. Um, all right, we got uh, Fusion Strike up there. Oh, the breeze feels so good. Oh, it's such a nice day. The clouds kind of rolling in a little bit here, but I ain't worried about that. I'm still gonna. Oh my god! That's a really pretty card. <laughs> awesome, dude. Awesome, sweet. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Let's put it in there. Duh. There's the tin. It'll keep it nice and protected. Sorry about all the sniffles, by the way. My allergies are really acting up this year. Okay, can I get the elusive Lola whatever? No, no, I guess not. It's really hard to get something out of Evolving Skies. I heard that from somebody recently in the comments section. Shout out to you, my bro. Um, and I'll, I'll bet maybe it has something to do with that scandal in Pokemon recently. I don't know if you guys, oh, look at that dent. They really kicked that one good. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, supposedly, supposedly I say, uh, take this with a grain of salt because it's from the internet. <laughs> there is like a picture of some cards taken of just a whole, whole bunch of uh, duplicates. Apparently, wow. Oh boy, <laughs> that's what I get for kicking that thing around. Um, somebody from Nintendo Pokemon was hoarding a whole bunch of good cards. They were taking them right off the line. And oh my gosh, just open. And then they tried to sell them all, dump them onto an LGS shop. One of those uh, local gaming stores. And they're like, oh, yeah, right, you're a freak. Awesome, sweetness. Uh, and so there was a picture taken and now it's it's out on the internet and people are saying, oh my gosh, I dropped you. People are saying that, uh, you know, employees are stealing and robbing all the good cards off the production line, dude. You know how messed up that is, if that's true? No wonder it's so hard to get pulls like in Evolving Skies and stuff like that, brilliant straws, because uh, supposedly, I mean, if, it, if it's true, we don't know that. We really don't. You know, until the investigation, if there really is one, proves without a shadow of a doubt, beyond whatever the words are, that that is true. We are not going to make assumptions here, folks. It's not what we do in America. Even though we do, <laughs> we shouldn't, you know? Gotta make sure that we're not just accusing people of something that uh, might not necessarily be true, because those cards may have just been fake. And of course, it just starts this whole cascade of 
of uh, rumors and theories and stories. And you just don't know. You really don't. And, you know, we don't want Nintendo's share price to go down now, do we? Which I'm sure uh, that could cause Nintendo's share price to go down, as well as the card market, which is a conspiracy in itself, you know. Oh, they just did this to drive the market down so that they could buy in all these cards. I could see people saying that, you know. Uh, the conspiracy is real. Brilliant straws, the supposed victim. I don't know what kind of pulls were in this. I forget. Yeah. I don't know. From that picture I saw, and I'll throw it up if I can. Um, it looked like a bunch of trainer cards that people were robbing out. So, freaking A, man. I don't know, dude. Try not to keep up with the drama, but it is an interesting talking point because, you know, just like other people have said, I'm so sure that along the line of history, people have pulled really good cards off the production line. I mean, it's, you can't just rule that out. Okay. Well, that looked pretty torn up there. What the heck did they do, spray paint the corners? Anyway. Got a couple of uh, all righties in here. Where are they? Uh, huh? Dang it, I really screwed myself here. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quickie. Kind of quickie thing I did. That's the one of them. It's so cute. Uh, oh my goodness, makes me want to buy you and then sell you for... I don't know what I'm talking about. And then this one. Awesome. Well, I'm going to continue my game of Frisbee golf out here, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything on this channel in particular. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So we sat down on this bench right here. And uh, Lucy and I, she doesn't even know it yet, but we've discovered a Pokemon. Um, what is that called? A, a Slithermon or a... Yeah, you know, one of those. <laughs> cool, man. Let's see if I can get a close-up. So cute. Cute little guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's pretty... He's pissed off. I feel like Steve Irwin, bro. Except I know nothing about snakes. Look at that. It's like tensing in and out. It's fascinating. <laughs>